everybody, Pat Hantoon here from Technique Junkies, and today I'm going to be making a fun little Halloween card, and I mean Halloween. So we're going to be using JTO 27 Halloween set of two from Technique Junkies. It's made by Jan Tink of Mitten State Stamps for Technique Junkies, and you can see it's a two-piece uh, stamp set. So it's the words and then these cute little dog ghosts. They're just really adorable. So I have already taken this is going to be a one layer card. I've taken Nina Solar White and put it on a card stock. I've stamped it, uh, the two pieces, with memento and gray flannel. So that's what I'm using because I'm going to be using Copic markers. So I wanted to make sure I had something that was Copic friendly. So first thing I'm going to be doing is adding a little background to this. So I'm going to be using the Colorful Life Designs grunge dots. Can you see that? Really cool little grunge dots. and. Pixie Spray. So I've already sprayed this with Pixie Spray. Pixie Spray is a low-tack repositional adhesive for stencils. You put it on the back of your stencils, work in a well-ventilated area, although it doesn't have a smell. Hold it 12 inches above your stencil, spray all over, and then let it sit for a minute before you use it. So I'm actually putting it over, right over where I've already I've already put this down. And I'm going to be using some of the smaller uh, brushes that we have in our blending brush set, our set of 10. Um, these are smaller and they're good for smaller little areas because I want to get inside of there. So really what you could do is color first and then do this second or you could uh, do this and then color second. It's totally up to you. I decided I wanted to move that over. That's what's good about a repositional adhesive. So I'm going to be using these brushes to add two colors of um, Elodine dye, eye zincs, um, the tea and the meal, which means beige. So we're going to be putting those on there. I'm going to be using the tea with the, the, small, the bigger brush. So you notice that I'm putting the ink on by pressing onto the ink pad, my fingers on top of the blending brush and press firmly. Now these look like they have ink on them already. They do not. That's just the, how they are. They're darker on the edges, and they are a foam. They're not a foam brush. They're a, a, a brush, brush, fiber brush. And I'm going to start this just by putting this on the outer edges. And I don't want to use too heavy of a touch. I did there in that corner, but that'll be the only time really. And I'm not getting near where I want to add color. So I'm going to leave the words Halloween alone. I'm not going over that. Um, I'm just kind of missing all that because I'm going to be coloring and we want the words to show up. So I'm going to go around it, but not through the words underneath it. So that's why I'm using the smaller brush. Okay, so I have the main portion of ink down with the tea color. See how fast that goes. This is not a long process. And then I think I'm going to use, um, actually, I think I'm just going to go right to the little brush. And I put the little brush right on the beige. And I'm going to get near these edges and parts and pieces without going into the actual stamped image. So I'm going to go up to, but not in. Ooh, that's very wet. I'm going to run over it just a tiny bit. It'll be okay. And up to and up to and around those pieces. And this is where I might get this one because it's fine and get right in there. And right in there between those dogs. And if you have a juicy ink pad like mine where you put down a lot like that, don't be afraid to just put it onto a piece of paper and wipe off some of that ink if it's too much ink for you. And I'm gonna go right along the edge here. Can you see that? Right along the edge. I'm missing the image. That's what these little brushes are great for. The big brushes are great for adding big amounts of color, but these little ones are awesome for just getting in those nooks and crannies. So we're just gonna put that in there. So that piece is a little dark, so I'm gonna make it dark around it. And let's see what she looks like. Ready? Awesome, look at that, that's awesome. So now we have a nice colored background, see how cool that is? And we're gonna color the rest of this with Copic markers. So I am actually going to speed this up so you don't have to watch it in real time. I'm opening the card so I don't get to the card base there. And I'm gonna do some coloring.
that isn't that just adorable this is just a one layer card very easy very cute and what uh, I want to show you one more thing because when I do one layer cards this drives me crazy and it might drive you crazy too so the bleed through on Copic markers with 80 pound paper um, I'm sure it happens with other poundage too it's an alcohol ink so what I do is I take a piece of copy paper I just cut it down to size and then I just attach it to that back. So technically, I guess you could call this more than one layer, but it's not. It's a one layer card. Just attach the back there so you don't see that ugliness there. But that is the card, and that is the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. And um, if you did, please give us a thumbs up on YouTube and consider subscribing to the Technique Junkies YouTube channel. Um, this card is a lot of fun. I hope you'll give it a try. Uh, thank you for watching today. I'll see you next time. Bye now. Bye.